Um, my dealer is a fucking asshole, though. I have the worst dealer on the face of the planet. It's like the prices are going way up, the quantity is going down. When you buy pills, you know, besides from the pharmacy, when you buy pills from somebody, it's like the speed limit sign. It ends in zero or five. You get 30 pills or 55 pills or something. He's giving me shit like 62, 31. It's like, dude, what part of all of them did you not understand? This is a conversation we have once a week. It's just like, dude, I got those DVDs that you want. How many do you want? All of them. I didn't tell you how much I, I don't really care. I'll be at Wendy's in five minutes. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, they're not going to go stale. He could be like, dude, I got 2,000 Adderall. I'd be like, well, I guess I'll have to develop a very serious tolerance. <laughs> Something's got to happen. I'm just happy that uh, I grew up... See, that's the thing. My act starts out innocent and then turns dark. It's like the opposite of Michael Jackson. <laughs> it's, um, I'm just glad because I, uh, I grew up at the, at the very tail end of the last generation to grow up without the internet. Uh, like the last attention span out of Vietnam. We had the neighborhood, and my neighborhood was great. I had a great childhood. We had one of everything. We had like another white family. We had a bunch of black families. We had a child abuse household. We had a Jewish, like an Orthodox. They were like two yarmulkes Jewish. They were fucking super <laughs> Jewish. Like the type of Jew, the type of fucking Jew that would spin a dreidel, go to work and come back and it'd still be spinning. <laughs> Like, how Jewish can you be? It's fucking, they shower every day and the oil in their hair still lasts for eight days. Like, it's, they're fucking Jewish, Jewish. I had a great childhood where, when I was a little kid, I could walk across the street from my elementary school because we could still do that because people didn't care about us in the 80s. I mean, they were getting raped, just not as much as they are now. So I could... <laughs> The point is, I could. I, it was a bad neighborhood, too. I would still walk across the street to the library and look up penis in the dictionary and fucking laugh because it said exactly what I knew it would say. Hey, penis, it's funny. But that, you, you can't fucking do that now. I guarantee you, like, the very next kid to look up penis was, like, rerouted to a geriatric male bondage strap on leather varicose veins speedballing midget snuff porn site with like strobe lighting from the discharging of an m16 in a dimly lit room it's like the little eight-year-old brain just shuts down his phone rings seven days well, who gives a shit if he dies in seven days? He's seen everything. It's like, geez, if Anne Frank saw that shit, she would shit her last calorie of nutrition into her lederhosen and then eat it because she saw two girls, one cup, which is, which sounds a lot like a triple mastectomy video, but it's not. It's just like, yeah, that's our generation, though. We watch the most foul, snowballing, fecal matter back into the person's mouth. We not only watch this horrific clip, we watch other people watch that clip. <laughs> Fuck up is our generation. I would rather watch my grandmother watch her house burn to the ground with the cat inside. <laughs> Film her reaction, yeah. Two mortgages, one kitten. <laughs> Grandma's coming out of retirement. I think my internet watching is, is borderline. It's definitely like somebody I should talk to a therapist about because I'll just watch like an hour of UFC knockout highlights and then compound fractures in short clips and then I'll watch porn and then I'll watch Holocaust videos and I'm like, dude, these shouldn't, you can't consume those at the same time. It's like eating fucking Pop Rocks and Mountain Dew. It's a volatile combination. What the hell am I doing? Oh yeah, 
here's an idea. Pick a career path where your objective is to make people react using just words. And we've built you an audience of the most overstimulated, desensitized <laughs> generation in history. Like a generation of people that need the word fuck peppered into their diction, otherwise they fall asleep, just like the nonpartisan fucking Congressional Budget Committee debating fucking geopolitical fucking responsibility without regarding parochial fucking tax break. That was very informational. I didn't sleep once. A generation of people who find the JFK Sapruder film not only rather agreeable, but rather entertaining. Just like, hey, that's where the bullet ends hope and peace. Yeah, that's great. It's just like, my audience, it's just like the fucking fixed flat facial affect of a two decade daily MDMA abuser after homemade Botox without the charm of a stapled smile. Yeah, make Frankenface laugh and make sure it's FCC fucking appropriate and don't offend your mother. Well, fuck that, it's not gonna happen. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, no, people are overstimulated. Aren't you? Yeah, we are. I don't know, my, my parents came out to my act and uh... <laughs> That's the whole story. <laughs> my parents came out to my, oh. <laughs> yep, he summed it up. I don't need to say anything else. Dude, can you write the forward for my like autobiography? Just like, oh shit, on my doorstep again, huh? Uh, we're desensitized. You get shows like Cops or, you know, like, I'm just saying, my audience, my audience is lucky their leg moves when the doctor taps it with a hammer. Like, they're just too, uh, they're moved, I'm fine. Where's the Pop-Tarts and the keypad? I have a date with a clip of a lady tearing up through a hole in what's left of her ripped off monkey face. I'm gonna fucking eat Pop-Tarts and not react to that shit. Yeah, hey, yeah, what happened to Charla Nash is, a horrible, and it shouldn't have happened because she was invited to her friend's house and then the chimp, you know, attacked her. It's stupid. You don't invite a face to your house when you own a chimp on pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Plain and simple. Like, if, look, it, here's a rule of thumb. If Michael Jackson did it, don't do it. All right? <laughs> look at the parallels, though. Chimp, check one. Pharmaceuticals, check two. House guests that become liabilities, check, check three. The presence of facial dysmorphia, check four. It's like, holy shit, lady, buy a glove, touch a kid, and cut your fucking nose off. We've seen it before. Just don't do a duet with Paul McCartney. That would be awful. What was that? You, you think about that song, it's like Paul McCartney, musical icon. Michael Jackson, musical genius. 1983, McCartney and Jackson present audible flatulence at a eulogy. It was horrific. If their song, Say, 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 is art, then Tub Girl is Sistine Chapel. That's what I'm saying.